Looks like Boba Fett may have just lost his head like Daddy Jingo. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, ring that bell to stay up to date to all the latest videos, and click the like button because you know you like it. Boba Fett returned to the Mandalorian in season one, kind of, but mostly in season two, and then got his book of Boba Fett, which I loved. You probably did not, and I don't want to hear about it, but I loved it. Speculation has been running rampant about the return of Boba Fett. There were rumors that he was going to appear in Mandalorian Season 3, and other rumors have recently come out that they've been building the Slave 1 ship for another series. No one knows if it's Book of Boba Fett Season 2 or another one in the Mandoverse. But now, Tamora Morrison, who played Boba Fett and Django Fett, was at Supernova Comic Con and Gaming Convention in Melbourne, Australia. He had the following to say, I was supposed to be in the Mandalorian in season three but nobody rang me i was waiting for the phone call in new zealand waiting and wanting to give up well that mando guy stole a few chapters of my book it was painful watching him turn up with the, with some black new lethal sword and the way he turned up in my book of boba fett he just destroyed everybody i'm sure this guy is uh, ruining my show but i couldn't say anything i'm not the writer so i have to bear it i guess i think there's a few changes going on we also come under the big umbrella known as disney now too so it's one of many previous few conversations we had in LA. The dialogue began like, oh look, we're having a few changes, we're having a few cutbacks, and while you hear that on the different finish of the road, it's no good attempting to barter or any more cash that's for positive. So we'll see what occurs. He referred to it as cutbacks and it looks like if a show doesn't live up to the hype, potentially in the numbers, I don't know what the Boba Fett numbers were, sue me, but I'm guessing they weren't great. I know a lot of people skipped the series and were complaining that Grogu reunited with Mando on a different show. Just watch the show. Just watch the show and you don't have to worry. But it looks like not enough people did. Bob Iger stepped in and said, you don't watch the show. We don't give you more show. Boba, you're out. He did appear in Obi-Wan Kenobi the first time he donned the clone trooper armor. I was looking forward to more Boba Fett. I, as much as I love the book of Boba Fett, I did feel like it was a standalone series and it, it played out and it had a beginning, middle, end, and end. A definitive ending and it let you know a little bit more about the character. I am hoping and hopeful that he does appear in future Star Wars shows, specifically in this Mandoverse. We'll see what happens. Looking back on Mando season three, a lot of speculations about him appearing. He did not. And I think when you watch the series as a whole, there was no need for Boba Fett to appear in in that in that season the season was about Mandalore and Boba Fett as much as he is our first Mandalore and he's not really Mandalorian I know he was our first gateway to Mandalore he didn't necessarily make sense to be in that season he has no connection to the planet necessarily there's not that impact that Bo-Katan had or Armorer or Axe Wolves or any of them so I'm okay with that I hope we do see him and Fennec Shan return in the future but time will tell thank you so much everybody for watching give us a like and a subscribe but until next time this is the way